Hi everyone, I am bringing to you the April energy update. I've recorded this video on Monday the 21st of March. Um, for the last couple of days I've had a calling to just really share this with you and I know I'm going to be putting it out a little bit sooner but I feel like there is a lot coming up in April and a lot of important messages that I want to share with you all for your highest good and I hope you receive these in the best possible way um, and I hope they can help you with your own energy and also dealing with the collective energy that is going to be coming up. So as we enter into April, we are entering um, April. It is a month of new beginnings. It is a universal one month and that is a big focus on the root chakra. So those of you that are also life path number ones, this is going to be a major power month for you guys. You guys are really going to feel this energy more intensely um, and there's it's going to bring up a lot for you. Um, there's going to be a lot being brought up. Now we have the new moon on the 1st of April and then around the 12th to 13th we're going to have um, a, a transit to the Pisces energy and then we have the full moon energy around the 16th to 17th and then a Pluto retrograde towards the end of the month of April the 29th to the 30th so there really is a lot going on this month and with those of you um, who may have more problems like with your root chakra area or that may be an area you need more healing you are 100% going to feel this energy more intensely so just to give you um, a little bit of insight into this root chakra so it is the, the, the chakra of your lower body okay so I would say if you're interested in this more like you could go and research a little bit more into it so it, it can represent like our foundation, the root, the support, your strength, your survival. It also seats our karmic memories, records and beliefs. So as well, um, it can tie into some past life things there. It represents the earth centre of stability and protection. And the root chakra is made of everything that grounds you to stability in life. Um, and it's also where we manifest our basic needs and we find personal freedom and flow with life. So when that chakra is balanced, you have this innate sense of security and stability. You're connected to Mother Earth, grounded and centred. You find it easy to adapt and flow with life while being structured um, and ordered you have inner strength and vitality, you're alert, protected and hold, and you acknowledge, surrender and let go. So it feels a lot easier to flow with life. Now, when there's an imbalance in this chakra, people can suffer with symptoms such as um, fatigue, a lot of tiredness, um, major insecurity, financial hardships, fear around money, um, uh, very, yeah just feeling very fearful and needy also a lot of lower back pain um that could come up or issues around the lower back area also family wounds traumas um disconnected from earth even you know um weakened immune systems or you could be more susceptible to cravings and addictions um feeling more depressed it could even affect your weight you know been um overweight underweight so there is a lot there. Now that will be highlighted because April is a, a universal one month. This is in numerology terms. But yeah, so if you have issues around that, if you're not feeling secure, you're not feeling grounded, April's going to highlight that for you. And especially if you're a life path one, you're going to be in the spotlight a little bit more and you're going to be feeling that like more intensely. So what I would advise is keep that in mind because that's a good little bit of nugget of information. And then as you go through April, see how you are feeling. Are things coming up from your root chakra that you maybe need to work on balancing and healing? Because healing is going to be really important. So, you know, you could use colour therapy, eating red foods, wearing red clothes, visualising that red energy in meditations, um, certain crystals like bloodstone, jasper, carnelian, smoky quartz if you're into crystals even essential oils, um, you could look at sound therapy, but most importantly, earthing and grounding and connecting to nature is going to be so important for you. 
So that is like one of the biggest themes throughout April that's going to come up for you guys. And like I say, you ones, you're going to be feeling it more. But we're all probably going to be feeling that energy because we are all more sensitive. Now, what I also want to bring up for this April energy too, and I got a lot of this information that I'm sharing with you guys, is like when I went within on several meditations and I was just like, what do I need to share with all the people that are going to be watching my video for their highest good? Like what's coming up? And one of the biggest themes that came up, which I feel is a really important message, is a lot of people are going to be forced, you know, to be on these awakenings that they're going through. Um, And a lot of people are going to feel fearful. But when we're in a state of fear, that that's not good for us. And it's not good for our energy field and what we're then attracting into our life. And I really want to share that I believe as well that every one of us in the world, everyone is unique and different and blessed in their own ways. We've all come to earth and we're all having um, different, we're all here on different journeys. And one of the big things I want to share is like the the, the judgments, because I feel like a lot of people maybe unconsciously or they feel like they don't, but it's like we're not to judge others just because some of us maybe have incarnated in this life and we are here to like help raise the vibration of earth through you know being healers or some people like the terms light workers or come here to use like their gifts or earth angels or you know things like this as an example so like their purpose in this lifetime is going to be different maybe to other people's that doesn't make you a better or a worse person um, and the other thing that came up relating to that, and this might be a really unpopular thing I'm about to say, but if you know me and you've listened to a lot of my videos, I'm all about truth, being real, and I share things for people's highest good, and I feel like there's so much information out there at the minute, and it's all about like, oh, these um like levels of consciousness, oh, the 3D, the 5D, and like ascending, and yes, I get it, we're all on these journeys of ascension, but they're going to be different for everyone. When people fixate too much on like, oh, well, they're in the 3D, I'm in the 5D or the 6D or the 7D. It's like an ego thing, I truly believe, because it's like, I get it, like you can differentiate between like different levels of consciousness, but just because you believe or feel like other people are in a lower um, dimension than you, that makes you better or no and this is what I'm trying to hone in on like everyone is here for different purposes different reasons in some people's lifetime like their journey and their approach might not be the spiritual path or here to help with healing like their journey and their soul could be at a completely different level and here to learn and complete different lessons so while some of us may see things in a certain light, it doesn't mean others will, and that's not right or wrong, I'm like, I don't really feel like we should be judging others, or getting too caught up in, like, this levels of consciousness, and what you have to do to get to this level, or, uh, you know, if you're in, um, we're in 5D now, so that must mean we're gonna, you have to get to 9D, and da 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 like, if you get the drift of what I'm saying, because that also then, I feel, creates a lot of pressure and anxiety for people, and it, it's just another thing for you to get caught up in, and um, pressure on yourself, and for some people, maybe it helps them understand the process, so I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, again, take this what works for you, and leave what doesn't, but I'm just trying to share this, because I really feel like it's an important message that my spirit team were um, relaying to me to share with you all because you know just because people have put it out there that this is what they feel it is do do you feel that's what it is and I just think there's a lot of pressure on people and I just want to say as well not to attach ourselves to these labels or titles because then I believe as well then that's like the ego just attaching to something like yeah I'm gonna be this or I am this and I'm here to do like just be you, okay, and shine your light in however that is, but just be you, don't be worrying too much about all these dimensions, don't be worrying about all these titles, and I'm a this, I'm a that, and just, just go within, just be present, okay, um, 
because me personally like I have a little a basic um awareness of these different dimensions I know there are different dimensions in this existence if we should call it and I'm not going to talk too much about some of my own personal experiences because I feel some of them are a little bit deep for this video but my point being I know there are different dimensions and different things and realms that exist but would I feel that that's 100% necessary to be a better person and be on your soul path no because I feel like you will get shown and told what you need to know on a personal level when you're ready and when above decides to show you that okay because there's so much information online and I feel like it can really distract people and have people following these agendas and things and even if it is people believe it's for their highest good or it's like oh light work a spiritual stuff like where's it coming from okay that's what I want you to ask yourself where's it coming from because if you go within you and you switch off from other influences other people's uh, opinions or thoughts or what they believe to be true if you go within you and you meditate within you without any outside influence and distractions or you know anyone influencing your belief so even for example I've used it in my unpopular opinion time on um sorry I just gotta move my notepad there um yeah so even if you go into like the levels of consciousness and you meditate on that what what are you gonna get on that so not necessarily what everyone else might be posting or doing videos about or you're reading articles about or books about like what's it mean for you like you go within you with your unique spirit team and meeting your spirit guides and you just naturally going within on your journey what's what's it mean to you because it can mean different things to everyone it might be right for some people might be wrong for others my point is to empower you all because everyone has their own answers within so and i'm just want to help guide people to that for their highest good because there is so much information out there and where's it truly come from so I really think it's about reconnecting and going within and it ties into something else I'm going to mention within this so for those of you that might struggle with that um meditate set an intention to connect with your spirit team as I call them which can be made up of your guides angels ascended masters teachers ancestors etc and be open to the signs that they may send you um you will again have different guides for different things and allow the ideas and insights to come through they might not just literally come through as a straight message but you might like i say get insights or guidance subtly come through or subtle messages don't try to control it too much just be open to it you know i lay still on my bed like with my crystals around me and I just let my th what thoughts come up and pass by and then I get um like thoughts from my new video like I did today and um you might just get random bits of information and guidance come through now everyone's connection to their guides will 100% be different um and you know some may like to meditate and they may get information come through but some people might not like it might mean different things for them you you might feel your guide's presence around you um you might read um about them and learn more um <laughs> but you know look if you struggle to silence your mind just picture a white box that's literally what i do and put the thoughts into it so anytime a thought comes up that you know is your own or is replaying in your mind or something else literally just put it in the white box and it disappears and then eventually after doing that for a while it becomes easier to silence your mind or I have another technique for you guys which is the delete technique so every time a thought comes up that you know is your own or is a fear-based or you know maybe a repeating um trauma or something that's coming into your mind when you're trying to meditate literally press like you know the delete button on the computer like just imagine deleting it pressing the delete button delete 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 and it will eventually become easier over time then to tune into that so it, it's going to get easier for you to meditate but really and truly that is the important message to go within and not get so caught up in like because i feel like with all this ascension energy around and all the information that's coming up out there it, it it's feeling like a pressure like oh if like you know, there is no timing. Let me tell you this, time is just infinite. So some people say you're going to get this in, oh, we're going to be on this journey in this amount of time, or the world's going to change. Yeah, the world is changing, the energy's changing. But you're on your own unique journey. Embrace that for you. Don't worry about other people's journey. Don't worry about their timing. 
your timing is for you, you have a whole lifetime here, and you have an infinite lifetime in other places, and other, who knows where, you know, I'll leave that to you, I have my beliefs at this point in life, but what's it mean to you, timing, you could be here with your whole lifetime healing, you could be here your whole lifetime d- doing other work, like, just embrace your unique journey and this ties into one of the important oracle messages that also came up and this is from one of my sacred decks which is over 30 years old now i think and they're old native teachings and one of the messages that came up um for me to share with you all was the message of retreat and this was symbolized through a moon lodge which for any of you who don't know what the moon lodge is basically um in the old native times it would be where like women would go at their time of the month to spend time to rest and retreat away from their men um away from like the other community and be around other women to relax and revitalize and go within and embrace their sacred monthly time but this moon lodge card i'm going to share it with you because it speaks of retreat and i feel this is really important with april coming up is to take a break because your influence cannot be felt at this time because you are in need of replenishing your own energy you know we can't give from an empty cup we have to give to ourselves first and that is really important and this is a barren time um in a sense because you need to be alone and honor yourself for a change you know, change it can take place, but you need to honour that within you so it flows more easily. And retreat is not an act of weakness. It is an act of strength. And without retreat, the future cannot take hold in the present. Make note that you are preparing for the time of fertile action by taking a rest now. And being alone at this time will allow you to do the things that give you joy without interference. And remember the miracles can happen when you repose and allow yourself to come to your new starting place in a gentle way it's such a beautiful powerful message to share with you all but go within and see what your healing journey feels like for you and honor your needs and i had a second message to share with you as well and i felt like this is some really important spiritual guidance to share um for you guys and this did come up as well because it sums up everything i pretty much want to say to you all um that so many of you now it's like this point where your souls are yearning and they're yearning to come into their purpose with honesty and it can mean you know like giving up on this fear that we've held on to or this idea of how things should be and it's a really difficult time but truth is healing so we have to embrace that for ourselves and not to turn away from our yearning out of fear because fear can really hold us back now this is a collective message for you all so again take what resonates but I feel this is a very strong message and you know, we are due for a revelation and awakening into a deeper recognition and understanding of our true spiritual passion and sacred life purpose. This is so many, this is part of this ascension and awakening that so many of us are at that, you know, what's our sacred life purpose? Like we're trying to get into that energy and all that is entailed in manifesting it in, like loving co-creation with the universe and the situations, behaviours and relationships that were appropriate in our lives maybe and acceptable at earlier stages of your life journey will not necessarily continue to be so on your spiritual path of pro- of progress. That's a big thing and like sometimes we have to grieve the past to be able to move forward with our future and notice the effect of people, places and situations and your state of mind. That's tying back into what I just said to you about the information others can put out. Like, is it adding extra pressure or anxiety to you? How is it making you feel? If it resonates, great. But if it doesn't, ha- look at how it makes you feel because such effects could be uplifting and helpful. However, even if intentions are good, the effect may be diminishing, compromising your ability to hold connection to the light you will know when this is happening because your inspiration, your idealism and your hope, all of which give you vital energy to go work towards fulfillment of your most cherished dreams, slowly become tainted by lower frequency beliefs. This is it. You have to tune into you and what is important to you. 
like what do your beliefs feel like to you because they don't have to be the same as everyone else's out there instead of trusting you become fearful and impatient and instead of being true to your original vision you believe that you must change yourself to suit the world no guys you are you Instead of feeling happiness and confidence in your ability to complete tasks, you can then end up feeling overwhelmed and inadequate inadequate, sorry, and insecure. So from a place of wisdom rather than fearfulness, take care of what sort of energy you allow to have direct access to your inner being. Yes, I've said this in um, my previous video, that your energy is your most precious thing, so cherish it okay and save your influence and state of mind to be reserved for the divine mother the divine energy you will know when a message or impression is coming from a pure place because of what happens in your being in response to it you will feel happy at peace willing and capable even if the face of the challenge you will have a sense that all things are working as they are meant to and although you will be more relaxed, you will also be more focused, productive and inspired. Your true inspiration comes from within. And genuine divine guidance does not create anxiety, nor does it paint something to be well when it is in need of repair. So please, that's why my biggest message to you and the most important message is to go within for your guidance. Yet no matter the content of the message, you will feel relief in the face of such loving and helpful truth. If someone or something has stolen away your presence, sorry, your peace of mind and certainty of heart, use a healing process um, to go back into your own intentions to claim it back. Again, I hope you listen to this video before the first, like around the 1st of April, but when the new moon is, so your new intentions. And, you know, like, do a healing process where you literally can just like look at an image or something uplifting to you um go within and like picture this loving nurtured energy around you and you know whisper kind and loving words to yourself and you know if you could say something like this i love you and i'm here for you all is well i trust you unconditionally my faith in you never wavers i will always care for you and i'm always by your side and in your heart and together we shall ensure your divine fulfillment for the greatest good of all you know you could say something like that that is powerful and uplifting but reassuring to you and this ties into this root chakra energy of being grounded and connected to earth and your connection is most important so look at when you take in information from any source how does it make you feel because there is a vision un unfolding within your being an urging of the sacred feminine something which deep within your bones and when I say sacred feminine that's not to say it's it's for women or you know we all have a feminine and masculine energy and these videos are for, are for men and women you know male and female energy but something deep within you and your bones and you're recognizing as being truth and it may still be blossoming into fullness but if you tune into yourself you can feel the essence of its beauty and grace and it's not wishful thinking or fantasy so don't give up on your beautiful visions so hold your vision for the life that you want to create and where you want to be and the things you want to do and achieve but most importantly the messages for you guys are go within connect to yourself and see how things feel for you because when you build up your confidence and your trust in the universe and the trust within yourself your connection will blossom and it will be the most beautiful thing now thank you so much for listening i hope this has been helpful to some of you i really really do and if you're not already subscribed, you can subscribe to get new notifications of new videos and content that I will post. And I'm sure that throughout April, I will be doing some more energy updates. Thank you for listening.